How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So you join me here in our only 2020 Gretsch GM45 we have on the lot. Um, funny story, last week at the very end, or actually Saturday of last week, so this was three days ago, yeah. Three days ago this bus broke down in this very parking lot. I am at the Robert Morris football field. Um, basically what happened is a driver complained of his stop engine light being on, so I investigated. Um, so he turned on his ignition, sure enough, stop engine light was on, um, and whenever you release the parking brake, it would say shut down in progress, and it would have this annoying beep. So basically, I had to call in and say, this, this bus can't be driven. But uh, luckily, the driver was able to get this bus back to the workshop, swap it out for another one, and then technicians just fixed it yesterday. It needed a regen. Uh, funny enough, I tried to do a regen on this. It wouldn't take one. Uh, the DPF light was not on, funny enough, but uh, it needed a regen according to our technicians. So it wouldn't take one with the switch. It had to do a uh, forced regen with a computer as opposed to force regen with the switch. Um, but yeah, also the check engine light would flash for 20 seconds whenever you turn the ignition on. That has been cleared too. There was also a malfunction indicator light, so all the check engine lights are gone. Malfunction indicator light has been cleared. So this bus is now trouble code free. Uh, the only problems with it right now are the cruise control will not cancel when I step on the foot brake. But yet the, I mean, excuse me, the cruise control cancels just fine. The fast idle is what doesn't cancel. That's what I meant to say. So cruise control, oddly enough, it will cancel just fine like it should when I step on the foot brake, you know, when I'm driving down the highway 70 miles an hour, for example. But when I am parked and I have it in fast idle, every other bus I've driven, fast idle cancels as soon as you press the brake. But in this bus, it doesn't. So your only option is to cycle the switch off and back on which it's a pain in the butt because then you have to reset your cruise speed if you're going to drive again so um yeah and it's not what i'm used to i'm used to always uh having it drop down automatically when i step on the brake this one it kind of throws me off because i push this in step on the foot brake it lowers down to normal idle and then i put it in drive or reverse depending on which direction i want to go um but yeah not the case here and I get the range inhibited light every time I try to do that and I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta cancel this manually. So yeah, um, I've talked with that LT1, yeah, that one LT1 who is a technician for Thomas Built Buses. Um, he tells me it could be a programming issue, that's what I thought it was. Um, the other weird thing is, normally our buses are restricted to 1100 RPMs in fast idle. That's the maximum fast idle speed that you can achieve when activating fast idle. But in this bus, it'll fast idle all the way to the red line if you keep holding this, which, yeah, that shouldn't happen. It should be restricted to 1100 RPMs and it should cancel when I step on the foot brake. So, um, another issue is uh, driver AC blows kind of wimpy. That could be a, um, simple dirty air filter that needs to be changed out not a big deal um, speaking of the AC the midship AC I'm sorry I'm trying to pan the camera in a way that I don't reveal the company name that AC unit right there does not blow as cold as the back one so it's running low on Freon that's why I'm not running the bus right now it's not fuel efficient to run a bus with um, AC that isn't a hundred percent effective at cooling down the interior because it'll take literally about an hour for it to cool down with lower uh, low charge of Freon. Um, other two issues are braking related. First one being this bus pulls to the left when I brake. The other issue is the parking brake doesn't hold when I do my tug test and furthermore when I pull the parking brake going five miles an hour it takes three seconds to stop Normally this stops very quickly as soon as you pull it. 
and it's disconcerting. You know, I've talked about it before because if you run out of air or run low on air while you're driving for any reason, if that pops out and your parking brake is weak, you know, it's scary because that's all the emergency power you have to stop the bus. So, um, this bus definitely needs some love, but at least it's back in service, back in running order. No check engine lights. Uh, it's had a nice regen. Um, it's typical maintenance of buses with this mileage. It's got 112,000 on it right now. I'll just flip the power on briefly so you can see it. Yep, 112,321. Anyway, um... That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.